I'm Kayla Taylor with Tea Nation USA and today I'm going to show you how we make our red, white, and blue mocktail. We're going to start with non-alcoholic blue curacao. So this you can actually get at your local liquor store and this is going to go directly in the glass. So we're going to add an ounce of this. This is going to be your sweet element. So it's essentially just a blue syrup with some orange flavor like blue curacao has and add that directly to your glass like so. So pretty. Next we're going to work on our white layer. So that is some coconut mixture. So this is coconut milk and coconut cream. It's 75% coconut milk to 25% coconut cream. You can adjust that ratio. I personally don't like things too sweet so I use more of the milk than I do the cream. But I'm going to go ahead and add this to our jigger and we're going to pour in three ounces of this mix. All right. Now, depending on the coconut milk you use, it can get pretty thick. That's fine. You can use that. Once you shake it in here, it's going to um, thin it out some. So that's totally fine. I'm also going to add some lime juice. So this is, if you're not using fresh lime juice, this one's actually a really good pre-made one. It's Nellie and Joe's Key, uh, Key West lime juice. So I always have this in the fridge. And I'm going to add actually a half an ounce of this to our mixture. Lastly, I'm going to take some mint leaves, some fresh mint, and I'm going to throw those right into our shaker as well. There's already ice in there, so let's shake it up and get it nice and cold. So if you are using a thicker coconut milk, you're going to want to make sure you shake this out really well so that it thins it nicely enough for your drink. Also want to make sure you shake it so that you're infusing that coconut mixture with the mint flavor. So you'll feel it get nice and cold in your shaker. All right, perfect. Now before you go ahead and make this drink, you're actually going to want to crush some ice. So I just threw some ice in a blender and I crushed that up and we're gonna add it directly into our glass. This can get a little messy because it likes to stick together. So I spoon most of it in before I try and pour it because otherwise it goes everywhere. <laughs> And I want it in my glass, not on my table. But let's see, like so. So the crushed ice, you don't have to do crushed ice, but I just feel like it gives it such a, a really good texture in terms of having it be kind of slushy. So you, it's almost like having a, a frozen drink without having to do the frozen element, which I like, especially too since it's a red, white, and blue um, mocktail. The crushed ice helps with the layering a little bit as well. All right, so I'm gonna get the glass filled with that. And now we're going to strain out our white mixture directly over that ice. It smells so good. Perfect. All right, once that's all out there, we're gonna add our tea element. So for this drink, we are using our berry mojito tea. So this is a blueberry, raspberry, mint, and hibiscus green tea. And this one, you wanna make sure that it's pre-chilled. You always wanna make sure your, your tea is pre-chilled for a drink, but you definitely wanna make sure for this one because we are not going to shake it to chill it before we pour it to the drink. So it's very important with this one that we are using a using the tea that's already been chilled down. Now, if you have not had time to make it ahead of time, that's okay. Just make it double strength and add ice and that'll dilute it. But since you made it double strength, it'll still be where you need it to be. And we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pour that over the top, like so. Just like that. And you'll see it kind of does this fun little mixture together like that. And then what I like to do, so we added the blue on the bottom, but I like to add just a little dash to the top because once you've got the drink in there, it'll actually sink through. So it kind of gives it more of like that tie dye look. So I'm literally just gonna add a few dashes on top. Perfect. And that'll actually start to work its way through the ice as well as it sits. Now I'm gonna top this with some fresh berries. I have some raspberries and blueberries that I'm just going to Throw on top there. 
And that's it. That is our red, white, and blue mocktail. It's absolutely perfect for any of those holidays, those patriotic holidays we have coming up in, usually they're in the warm weather in summer, so it works really well that it is this slushy kind of texture. So, cheers!